I am back today with another Vortex Optics review, and this one was sent to the channel by Optics Planet. If you're a follower of the channel and you subscribe to this channel, then you know I review a lot of different optics, everything from high value and budget optics up to premium and mid-tier optics, and a lot of times Optics Planet is the one sending those out. If you head over to their website, you can use the coupon code 704TAC or 704TAC for 5% off your Optics Planet order, so a huge shout out to these guys for sending this over. Now this is the Vortex Strike Eagle, a 3 to 18 zoom level with a 44 millimeter objective lens, a 34 millimeter tube diameter, and it's a first focal plane rifle scope. Meaning as you zoom in and out, the reticle gets larger and smaller to make sure you can range effectively. Everything about this optic feels like a very premium optic, but it doesn't come in at a premium price. Although this is not the cheapest optic on the market. In fact, it's what I would consider a mid-tier optic. These generally sell for about $849. They're on sale for $749 on Optics Planet's website. And after the code 704TAC, you can save yourself 5%, dropping the price a little bit closer to $700. Now, what you get is a very usable optic in almost every single category, whether it's long range precision shooting, planking in the backyard, or different hunting applications. This is really a jack of all trades mid tier optic for an AR platform or bolt action platform that's going to do everything you need it to do. Now, because of that zoom level, because of the reticle selection, the 34 millimeter tube diameter, and the price, again, that jack of all trades is going to be very good at everything but not the best at one thing. And that's what I want to iterate or uh, really discuss about this optic. It is the perfect kind of do all mid-tier scope, whether you want to be shooting at 50 yards or out to a thousand yards, this is going to do a great job. Let's start at the front and work our way to the back and talk about the specs and features of this Vortex Strike Eagle. One of the first things I want to mention that you can't see here is the VIP warranty. That lifetime warranty from Vortex is a nice peace of mind. And a lot of guys are like, oh, Vortex, they're not as good as Steiner and other top tier brands. But a lot of times when I get an issue with different things, uh, especially with companies you think would have great customer service, sometimes they fall short. Vortex does not, and that means something. I've had really premium products have issues in the past and get no support from the manufacturer, so having that VIP warranty is incredibly nice. Because this is a 34 millimeter tube, you really get a lot of light transmission, but more importantly, you get a lot of elevation and windage adjustments built in. The turrets themselves are done very nicely. They are locking turrets, which is pretty slick. The clicks are audible and tactile. And again, not the best turrets I've ever seen on an optic, but we are talking about an optic that comes in at $750. But the turrets are absolutely spectacular. Um, if you're thinking they're going to be like turrets off of a $3,000 optic, they're not just there, but they are freaking good and probably some of the best in this class that I felt, especially with that very interesting locking method. It also has a very nice side parallax adjustment, and then it has the illumination located on the side, which works out fairly well. Now, the illumination is not really going to be like daytime bright. That's more for twilight and dust shooting applications for different hunting scenarios, or maybe if you're shooting at twilight or dusk and you're shooting at a dark target and you want a little bit of contrast, you can turn the illumination and it does a very good job. So I like that that's included, but it's not going to be like super daytime bright. Now, the elevation or the windage turret, excuse me, is actually capped so it's not locking but because of that cap you don't really need to mess with that too much now preferably i like to see just like a locking turret on the side um, but it's really not that big of a deal i like i like the simplicity of this optic i like the ease of use of this optic and the turrets are done very nicely now moving along to the zoom lever it's super smooth and vortex always has those vortex throw levers it also has an adjustable diopter on the back which is also very smooth to operate and everything about that just is very Ergonomic, if that's the word I want to describe, the user, inter the user interface is very good. So you're not going to have any issues just operating the scope and the build quality is very nice. 
Now let's talk about the eye relief, the eye box, and the glass clarity. Then we'll talk about the zoom capabilities as well as the reticle selection on this Strike Eagle. So the eye box and eye relief on this optic are pretty darn good. That means up, down, left, and right, or how close or how far you can be is very forgiving considering the fact that this does have a very large zoom level from 3 to 18. Now, because it's a 3 to 18, that's what makes this a jack of all trades optic. At the three power setting, you can easily shoot 10 or 15 yards if you just want to play cans for some reason that close but you could stretch it out to a thousand yards and the cool thing being a first focal plane optic as you zoom in and out the reticle gets larger and smaller and the reticle is very nice at every single zoom level that's hard to say for a lot of optics, but the Vortex does a good job. It's got large duplex leader lines leading into the optic itself, and I'll try to show you guys the side of the box, but you can see those in the intro. So as the reticle zooms in, those disappear and leaves you with a more fine crosshair reticle with a Christmas tree style design, whether it be MOA or MRAD, depending on what you get, with different hash marks, dots, windage holdovers, and bullet drop all built in, but it's not specific to a caliber. It's just MOA based or mill based so that gives you the advantage of being able to throw this onto whatever rifle you want regardless of the caliber again making it another awesome feature for a jack of all trades rifle scope this is a scope that you grab and you don't really know exactly what rifle you're going to put on it or you've got a lot of rifles but you don't have the money right now to buy an optic for each one this one can be easily removed dropped on another rifle recited in and do any tasks that i thought about adequately it's a great, awesome option from the Vortex lineup, and I truly feel like this is a workhorse of an optic designed for a wide variety of applications and is not limited to one individual niche. So if you like this optic and you decide you want to grab it, definitely head over to Optics Planet and check them out. And again, don't forget that code 704TAC, and a huge shout out to Optics Planet for sending this out to the channel. And if you're interested in this chassis system, I actually have a full review on this. And this was also sent over to the channel by Optics Planet. They're always throwing things over, helping us do different uh, assemblies and things. And this was an awesome one to put with this Savage. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.